Hi guys, it is another spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times on Wednesday, October 19th, 2016, and this is your old clueless moron, Doomsday Stoner, with a little cautionary tale. I know you can't see this here in the, uh, in this picture, but there is a wildfire raging out of control right over that ridge from where I'm sitting up here above San Antonio Hot Springs. This big fire. And I actually did three rants yesterday. I never do rants over again, but I kept, as the fire grew, I kept you know taking new videos and I would close every video uh, you know explaining that I'm pretty sure this fire was caused from a campfire because there's no lightning strikes or paved roads so it was clearly caused by some clueless moron with a campfire and as I kept saying smoke them if you got them just don't set the woods on fire so last night me and the little dog sitting here by the fire actually the little dog he's not a fan of fires and you know I had my shovel and uh, I had the shovel and the water at the ready by the fire being a good little camper I have my permit in my gas sucking truck and I took a couple of hits of this shit from Mendocino County I mean this medicinal quality weed good god almighty it blew the back of my head off as i sat around the fire not knowing what planet i was on i, I mean i think it was just one hit one or two hits uh, of this shit i don't even know the name of this stuff uh, but good lord, uh, I was on another planet for I don't know how long. And so the fire was here in this, you know, a, a very well-built, safe, deep firing, shovel, water, everything. And just by some, it, 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 there's, the only way to describe this is, is a whisper from the universe. So, of course, it was pitch black dark except for the fire and I noticed this little smoldering ember outside of the fire couldn't figure out what it was so I got my shovel to try to tamp out the burning ember in my confused stoner state and the ember wouldn't burn out and it uh, dawned on me I wasn't you know, what what had happened is a, a ember had gone from the fire and landed on top of this goddamn cheap ass plastic tub. And what it was doing actually was burning a hole. This was actually smoking this uh, plastic tub. You know, this was soon before I went to bed, guys. And it actually burned all the way through the uh i burned my finger on this molten plastic it actually had burned all the way through the lid of this thing uh, i don't know if you can see this and was and was smoldering i mean there was smoke coming out and this bright orange ember was spreading out and look, so if you open up this thing, look what's right below. Right below the, uh, the smoldering ember is a propane cylinder sitting on top of a roll of paper towels next to a cardboard box is what was about three not even three two inches 
below this smoldering ember which had already burned a hole through this plastic and was growing dripping molten plastic onto a roll of paper towels and a propane cylinder. Uh, while your goddamn stoner uh, was sitting in a chair uh, about six feet away and, 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 and it's just it's just completely a, an, an act of God that I noticed that ember or well, I would be dead, the little dog would be dead, uh, to put it mildly, and, and a lot worse than that, this is how wildfires start. It's shit like this. You know, I'm 57 years old. I've been camping, building wildfires for 50 years. You know, I know how to take care of a damn fire. And, uh... That's how close it was, guys. You know? Another five minutes of that ember burning and this whole thing, including yours truly and his little dog, uh, would have been toast. You know, if I, had, if I had gone to bed and one little ember had popped out of that beautiful fire ring, you know, it's no joke, guys, especially for you goddamn stoners such as myself. This is how we burn down the forest. You know, I see the smoke still curling over the ridge. I'm going to go up to the fire lookout and check it out and... You know, that would be a crime if this goes up in flames. A true crime. And you almost had me to thank for it. Your old clueless moron doomsday stoner. Jesus. Bye, guys.